everybody. Uh, I've got another subscription box review for you. Today we're going to be reviewing the SHTF Mystery Gear. Um, but before I get into this, I, I want to cover something about the last review I did on this box. Uh, I was kind of disappointed in a couple of the items that were in the box. Three other items were decent items. Uh, I, I want to set the record straight on that. However, I got some feedback that what did I, what did I expect out of a $20 box? And <clears throat> the simple fact is what I expect to get out of a $20 box is at least get my money's worth out of it. You know, if I, don't, if I only get $20 value of materials out of that box, that's fine. But I, I really don't want it filled with useless junk either. Um, I, I know a $20 box, you're not going to get top of the line equipment. You, uh, it, it's going to be low, qual uh, low quality, low cost. But there's a point where something is low quality and then something becomes completely useless or junk. And out of the five items that I got out of the last box, three were decent items. I got a decent knife, got some rope, I got a uh, camouflage ghillie set for, the, uh, for my gun, and then I got a couple of really crappy items. You know, But all in all, I, as I said in my video, it's a $20 box, what do you expect? I felt like I got my $20 value out of that box, but apparently one apparently some of the viewers didn't think didn't interpret my review that way I got my $20 value out of the box I did uh, I was just debating on whether or not it was worth me continuing to subscribe to this box that doesn't that doesn't mean the uh, box is worthless it's just I'm trying to find the right balance for my money so I can get the the best bang for my buck because these boxes do get expensive one box a month that that's fine but if you start adding two three four boxes it gets really expensive really quick and I was just wondering if I wasn't sure if this box would be worth hanging on to or if I could should cancel the subscription and go with something different for a different type of gear different quality things like that um, but to set the record straight, I did feel like I got my $20 value out of that last box. I was just, two of the uh, two of the items I thought were junk. And I'm not gonna hold back on saying that. But there again, as I said in the video, it's a $20 box. You can't expect to get 30, 40, 50, $60 worth value gear out of a $20 box. But anyway, that's the last video, so let's get on with this one. This is the June box. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Try to keep the table from shaking. There we go. Side. And as usual with this box, there's the box is oversized to make room for larger items. But in the two that I've gotten, this is actually not too bad. Uh, in the two that I've gotten, I've gotten a lot of paper fill. But the reason for that is they have a larger box to accommodate larger items, and not you won't always get those larger items in each box. You might get smaller items, and uh, you'll have a lot of room left over, so they have to have vacuum filler. Okay, so let's get on with this. I subscribe to the primary box. It's $19.99 a month. They have the Pro Box, which is uh, $49.99 a month, and then they have the Elite Box, which is $89.99 a month. 
This is the primary $20 a month box. Each box comes with a list of what's in it and advertisements, of course. So let's, uh, the first item on the list. It's an interesting item. Uh, emergency fire blanket. Slide this box over a little bit. Emergency fire blanket. The retail value on this is $16.99, according to the card. You have a nylon case, has eyelet right there, has instructions on how to use it, pull tapes to release. I'm just I'm not going to pull it out. I'm just going to open it up. Okay, maybe I will pull it out a little ways. It's folded up. It's in a plastic bag. This is a heavy, I'm not sure what material this is. It's a heavy white blanket. This would be good in an emergency, I would imagine, depending on what it's made out of. It's, this is a one meter by one meter blanket. They come in four different sizes. This one is one meter by one meter, made in China. Uh, dispose of blanket after use, made from 100% glass fabric. Take a release tape in each hand, pull downwards and outwards, drape the blanket over the flames to seal off air, switch off heat, leave in position until cool. That's that's what you would do if the, you had like a, a stove on fire or something like that. Clothing fire. If clothing is on fire, force victim to the ground, rapid fire blanket, call medical aid and treat for shock. So it's made in China, but I mean that's to be expected. But it's a glass fiber blanket, so okay. That's actually, that's actually pretty cool, and it's not something I would have thought of having in my preps, but, you know, it's, it's definitely going in there. And I'll, what I'll probably do is add this to my blackout box, where I keep my, uh, my flashlights and candles for power outages or whatever, and... Uh, yeah, so that that's actually a good item. Sixteen ninety nine. I I would say that's I would say that's actually probably worth the sixteen ninety nine. Next up, uh, carbon steel shovel for fourteen ninety nine. All right, so this is a very short handle on this thing. The shovel is loose. The head is loose. But here's the thing about that. Spot welded in three spots right here, held in with a tiny screw. But you can actually easily replace this handle if necessary. I don't think it's necessary. What I would probably do, remove this screw, seat the handle down a little bit more firmly, and put a longer screw in there to hold it. But This is actually a pretty cool item. Let's see, Delta Defender Counter Terrorist Force. Okay, I'm I'm not sure about that, but this this would make a really good pack camp item. Probably would have expected a little bit more of a point on it, but I'm you know that's that's a heck of an item. That's $14.99 retail. Mm. I'd probably pay closer to ten, twelve dollars for that, but you know I'm not going to argue with fourteen ninety nine. So between the fire blanket and this, I would say you have your your twenty dollar value right there. And there's uh, there, there's still some good stuff in here. Okay, so next, now this one, the last key ring I got was a metal key organizer. I thought was junk, um, simply because it looked complicated. It didn't make a lot of sense to me the way it was designed. This, this looks pretty cool. Um, this is a paracord key ring, retail value $4.99. Now this is, this I could really get behind. Um, 
I'm going to open this up. Tearing the packaging, which I'm trying not to do. In case I want to use it for a giveaway later. I'm trying to save the packaging as much as possible. Um, yeah, so... It appears to be... This appears to be metal. Maybe aluminum of some sort. It's lightweight, but it feels like metal. And you've got a metal key ring here. But the, what I like about this... Paracord. Paracord is invaluable in a survival situation. There are so many uses for this stuff. And this gives you... It doesn't say how much is here. I, I would... And it, it's hard to say because the way it's braided. I don't even know if it has the interior strands. It looks like it may not because it looks flat, but it's paracord. This comes in so useful camping, hiking, survival. Um, you never know when. I mean, there's so many uses for that. $4.99, yeah, I could actually see the price. I could see that. That That's, that's a decent deal right there. Next up. Actually, I'm going to skip this next one. I'm going to go ahead and skip to the last one. I'll, this next one I'll cover last because I think it's one of the better items. At least. Mm, at least from my point of view. It's, it's the, the showpiece of the box, I would say. But this next item, map compass. It's just a, by Trailblazer, it's just an orienteer compass. You just have your plastic compass, and you've got your cord in here. Inches, millimeters, scaled miles, transparent base, built-in magnifier, jeweled needle, luminous pointer, liquid field for smooth action. Six ninety-nine. Yeah, yeah, I would say it's worth that. So cool. Yeah, that's that's always good to have. You can. It's always good to have at least one compass in your bag. I prefer two. One is a backup. Because you never know. One might get damaged. One might get lost. So yeah, I can see that. So, the last. Yeah, this, this, this one looks... This one looks really interesting. This is... The last one. The Zulu 5.56 knife. Retail for $29.99. This is it, guys. I would say this is the showpiece of the box. Let's see if I can get this box open. Oh, it's taped. Some of that invisible tape was holding it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Open this bad boy up. Let's see. Now, I'm, before I even start on this, I'm going to say, I don't expect bar quality out of this knife. I, I don't expect this to be top of the line or anything like that, but for $20, $30, we'll see. Okay, you got it. Hold on one second, folks. Sorry about that. You've got a nylon sheath. You've got two straps to hold the knife in place. Somewhat flexible. pull this off. Okay, so you've got a false edge along here. Got three holes here. It's got a bit of an edge on it. Yeah, it's it's got a bit of an edge on it. Um, you got this gray on the handle is plastic. You got the SOA logo. And then the black is rubberized for a good, solid grip. It's a comfortable grip. The rubberized keeps your hands from slipping. You've even got a, a spot for lanyard. The blade is nice and straight. 
which is unlike the add-on knife I had uh, in my last box, the blade was curved. Uh, this one is, this is actually a decent, uh, decent looking knife. It's, it's a bit big. It looks more like a jungle knife. BK4793, uh, stainless steel china. Zulu 556 from S uh, from SOA. So yeah. Okay, sorry about that, guys. My my battery on my phone is about dead, so I got to wrap this up. But yeah, it's uh BK4793 stainless steel from China. Zulu 556 rubberized grip. This is a heck of a more like a jungle knife design. It's, I, I think it's cool. Uh, $30, mm, maybe. Not top of the line, but this will definitely hack through some stuff, I would think. Maybe I'll do a uh, some batoning videos with it later. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So, if you combine this knife Paracord key ring, orienteering compass, carbon steel shovel, and the glass fiber fire blanket. I would say you more than got your value out of this box. Um, Again, this box was $19.99 a month. The re June retail value of this box, the combined retail value on the card is $73.95. This was a really good box. Um, I had three good items in the last box I really liked. Two, I hated. I don't have a single item here that I actually hate. I like all of these. I see a place in my, in my gear supply for all of this stuff. So, yeah, they did really good with this box. So, I, I more than got my $20 worth out of this. So, there you go. It's the uh, June primary box from SHTF Survival. So, uh, that's about all I can say. It's, I'm really pleased with this one. I was a little disappointed in the last one, but this one I'm really pleased with. So... There you go. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching, and thank you for watching.